After a million, billion, trillion years, we finally get the Water Island Mythical in My Singing Monsters. Oh, snap. <laughs> what is... Oh. Okay, so it's an Easter egg hunt with a trophy for the winner, and the trophy just fell off the island. I love how Tweedle just gives Blabbit a flashlight. Like, here you go. Yeah, just go ahead. Just go ahead and jump off the island. That's always a good idea, right? Okay, things are, uh... Things are getting pretty deep, dude. <laughs> Sheesh! What is that? Pretty sure that's a jellyfish. Pretty sure that's uh, I don't know what that looks like something out of Subnautica. Why why do you look like you're smiling, Blabbit? I would not be smiling right now. <laughs> oh jeez, are these all new monsters? That'd be cool. Okay, you found your trophy, that's good. But wait. Someone else found the trophy too. <laughs> Blabbit doesn't look happy anymore, guys. What is that? What are you? Why are you shaking the? What's? What are you? What are you doing, dude? Yeah, Blabbit, just, 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 just go with the thing, Blabbit. Go with the weird creature in the in the ocean. Good idea. What? I like this little galaxy thing going on in the stomach of this creature, guys. What? Blabbit, no! Blabbit's okay, guys. For a second, I was like, is Blabbit gone forever? Okay, hang on a second, guys. Is this water underwater? Is this like a goo lagoon from SpongeBob SquarePants type of situation here? I don't know why Blabbit is just jumping on in there as well. Blabbit, what are you doing? Stranger danger, Blabbit! No, it's cool. Just, just... Get on in there. Just when you thought the ocean couldn't get any deeper, guys. What is that? Oh. Wait. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. This is Wublin Island. Is there a Wublin Island update? I assume they were never going to touch Wublin Island again, but now I'm not so sure. What do you see, Blabbit? Tell me what you see. It's a, it's a map of Wubble and I. Okay. Wake up the Wubblets! Wake up the Wubblets! Wake up the Wubblets! Wake up the Wubblets! What is it? You can't see. Oh my god, guys! Those are rare Wubblets. Rare Wubblets? Rare Wubblets! Okay. Because I, did, I didn't expect that. Didn't expect that in this update. I just wanted my Water Island Mythical over here. This disgusting looking creature. I kind of love it, you know? Yeah! Yeah, they're all just... Whoa! Blabbit disappeared and then this thing came back! All right! We traded! Seriously, what, guys? Hey, everybody? Maybe, just maybe, we should ask a couple of questions before we get too excited, you know? Oh. Well, of course. Of course, you gotta go to Mythical Island. Anglo. Designed by Ultimate Creator Chris Wimberly. Well, Chris, you got quite an imagination, my dude. Honestly, guys, I'm just a little shocked over how fast 
These guys forgot all about Blabbit once they saw that precious trophy come back. Some creature that they've never seen before brings them the trophy. They're like, yep, this is good. This is good. No questions asked. I feel like I need to go check the Wobblin Island grate and make sure Blabbit's not like still in there or something, you know? <laughs> Blabbit! Blabbit, are you okay? Blabbit's watching TV in there. He's fine. As you guys can see, we now have five rare Wobblins on Wobblin Island. That was not on my My Singing Monsters bingo card, but I'll take it. As cool as that is, guys, there's something much more important going on, obviously, and that's the mythical, okay? It's cool to get a reskin of a Wobblin, but I want to hear the Anglo. All right, so apparently to get the new Water Island Mythical, we need to combine a Scups and a Pummel. Let's do this. Oh, what's this? Could it be? The Anglo. Okay. Crack it open. So, guys, I don't know how to describe this thing, man. That is that is quite the uh, quite the monster piece. You know, I didn't actually hear any sound when I hatched the egg then, guys, so I have no idea what the Anglo is gonna sound like. Let's put it down and find out. But man, what a creature. Oh! Ooh! Ooh! Okay! I like that. Kinda gives me, like, sort of stog vibes in a small way. I've told you before, guys, I like, I like the synth noises. You know, like bassy sort of synthy noises always sound good in these songs. Okay. Oh. Whoa! I like I like everything about this man. Like the animations, the sound, very cool. In the deepest possible depths of the living ocean, one might find a massive crack in the sea floor. This deep sea ditch is known to many as the Monstriana Trench which acts as a sanctuary for hundreds of strange creatures. Some examples of these creatures are anemones, glimmerglaws, and jalel jiggles. Jalel jiggles, great name. But the most popular among these is the ambiguous but luminous Anglo, waiting to put on a fantastical light show just for you. When it sees a passing creature, the intergalactic isopod approaches and politely asks its soon-to-be viewer if it would like the opportunity of a lifetime. Witnessing an unforgettable light show. Guys, what a long description. I gotta like, take a breath here before I keep going. If the viewer accepts, it is then dazzled and delighted by flashes of colors and this barrel-eyed buddy never fails to put big, bright smiles on the faces of its audience. When the Anglo isn't bringing amazing light shows to the creatures of the deep, it searches the waters surrounding the islands for cupcakes and pizzas that might have slipped off the edge. But when the sky is clear and its stomach is full, the mythical of Water Island prefers to gaze at the stars, nebulas, and planets of the cosmos, which is where many monsters think the Anglo came from. Well, I mean, look at the uh, thing in the middle here. I don't know what to call it, it sort of looks like it could be like a star or something or maybe a galaxy, but either way, I could see how you might think this thing came from space. I mean, it doesn't look like something from Earth. Actually, guys, I'll tell you what this monster reminds me of. I know they're very different looking monsters, but the first time I saw the Anglo, I was immediately reminded of the Nebulob. Probably because of the fact that the Anglo has that, you know, spacey thing going on in the stomach, and then the Nebulob has some sort of spacey thing going on in the helmet. And also, I'm pretty sure the Nebulob is also supposed to be sort of water themed because of the fact that he has those tentacles. Now guys, it's time to go to Mythical Island where we have two monsters to breed. One of them is the Anglo, and the other is a monster that the Anglo dreams about. As you may already know, some of the Dream Mythicals are a little bit weird. Some of these monsters be dreaming about some weird stuff. I mean, look at the weasel. Like, what is that? And don't get me started on this thing. Shaking what's mama gave it. Cause that is the most disgusting thing I've ever seen. Who dreams about, that's not a dream. That's a nightmare. That being said, not all dream mythicals are terrifying to look at. I mean, Cranchy and Bleatnik are pretty cool. And you know, Sporo is kind of adorable. 
Okay, I gotta go back to Water Island, guys, because I need to teleport my new Anglo to Mythical Island so we can find out what it dreams about. All right, let's see what this thing sounds like on Mythical Island. I'm not sure if it's gonna be worse or better because I do really like the sound on Water Island. So let's hear it. Cool. Well, that's weird. Kind of cool, but weird. I mean, you expect it to be a little freaky, right? Because if you look at this monster and you're not a little bit freaked out, something's wrong. It almost sounds like a siren. You know, like an alarm or something like that. Wah! Yeah, you know, if I saw this thing, I would be a little bit alarmed. So it kind of makes sense. Okay. <laughs> hmm. It's kind of, kind of quiet. I mean, I have a couple of duplicates, so that doesn't help, but uh, yeah, it's a little bit quiet overall. What? Oh! Oh! Okay. Okay! So the first part was sort of just like a whomp, whomp, and now we get something that sounds really cool, and it's gone. Okay. What? How many sounds do you have? That's a third! Is that a third part? Oh. Okay. Hang on a second. Hang on a second. You know what I need to do? I gotta bring, I gotta bring this guy over here. Okay, I wanna hear you guys together. <laughs> I love this guy so much, okay? So much. Here we go. Woo! Y'all's doing a duet right now! Yeah! Okay. It's hard to even hear the hey hey because these parts are so similar. Guys, I am not at all disappointed in this monster, but if I was, it would only be because it had to follow the hey hey hey, and it's really hard to live up to that. But that being said, I think these two sound amazing together. All right, so now the easy part, guys, we just gotta combine our catalyst with our Anglo and hope that we get the new Dream Mythical. Did we just get it? No. We got an Anglo. By the way, guys, one more thing about Anglo that I'd like to say. Yes, I did notice the fact that it kind of looks like an Easter egg. Oh, is this the one? It is the ping hound. The heck is a ping hound, man? I mean, I guess we're gonna find out. Crack it open! Jeez Louise, these dream mythicals, man. Did you hear that though? That was like a ping noise. I guess I know where it got its name. Oh! What, the, look at the face on this thing, man! <laughs> Is he blowing like, water rings? The eyes, man, look at the eyes! This thing is definitely living up to the name of Ping Hound. I mean, the eyes look like sonars, it makes a ping noise, it, Sort of looks like a dog, and it's called Beagle. Among the stars where the water mythical is believed to call home is a whole other world of sound. Alongside the main species of spacefaring beings, this corner of the cosmos was shared with a domesticated creature known as the Ping Hound. Thanks to the power of Dreamcraft, this beast can be drawn from the imagination and realized in physical form in the dream space of Mythical Island. Brave, loyal, and slightly territorial, ping hounds also use a luminous and musical display to communicate. They are the close companions of water mythicals who are delighted to be reunited with simulacra of their erstwhile pets in the monster world. Simulacra, a eh? There's a game called Simulacra, right? I, I thought that was just a made up word, but it must be real. Well, it's obviously no surprise that if you put this thing next to an Anglo, Makes the Anglo happy. Guys, I just, I can't get over this thing. <laughs> it's so hilarious and bizarre, but it sounds really cool and the animation is absolutely wild. Good job, monster handlers. Okay, I'm gonna do to the Anglo what I did to the Hehehe when I first got him. I'm gonna put him on my mirror island. Sometimes it's fun to just strip down the islands a little bit and what, who, what was that? Who do you like? What the, is it the Wubox? Does the Wubox like you? Yeah, the Wubox does like you. That's fair, because the Wubox is a submarine, so it probably likes deep sea creatures, right? Yeah, there you go. Yeah, do it. Do it with the giant Wubox, would ya? Okay. 
looks kind of nice, isn't it? Okay. All right, guys, so that was the new Anglo and Pinghound. I love them, but what do you think about them? Let me know down below in the comments. Now, as for the rare Wublins, I'm not gonna be getting them today. I am missing a couple of the commons that I need in order to evolve them into rare, so I'll leave that for a future video, so be on the lookout for that. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed, please hit that like button and consider checking out this video next.